Welcome to this first video on the fundamentals of learning to draw. I'm also a beginner, far from being very skilled, but that's precisely why I'm making these videos. As I research and seek to improve, I'm sharing my journey with you. If you're looking to progress in drawing but don't know where to start, you're in the right place. In this first video, we'll explore what I believe is the fundamental skill to learn when starting out. We'll start by discussing the importance of breaking down subjects into simple shapes. While it may seem unnecessary for easy subjects, it's actually a crucial step. You'll soon see that as we progress to medium and difficult subjects, the exercise becomes much more challenging. It develops our sense of observation, allowing us to tackle increasingly complex drawings. Let's jump into it with this first easy subject, which is a mill. Whatever the subject, before drawing the first lines, it is important to observe the subject carefully. This one is basically made of big rectangle, but with rounded lines above and at the base. For the rest, as we can see, it is a rounded triangle and then other rectangles for the propeller. As I said before, it may seem too simple, but it is a very important exercise to progress. This will help us a lot to redraw with imagination and also to draw the subject in different positions than that on the reference images. Now let's look at this plane. It is mainly a cylinder with rectangles for the wings. But it is important to draw the curves because this really help us to remember things better. But why? This allows us to redraw in different views. Make it way easier to remember if I will need to redraw a plane in the future. For example, now I can hide the reference and try to redraw it. One last easy example. This time with this lighthouse, then we will jump into level medium. Moving on with the medium difficulty level, finally, we apply exactly the same principles as before. When it comes to organic subjects, you have to simplify for the basic sketch, but you have to be careful not to reproduce lines that are too mechanical when you move forward in the drawing. Also, it is always a very good exercise when you decompose your subject to draw the shapes in different directions than it is on the reference image. We can still have quickly look at some other medium difficulty subjects before we move on to harder examples. Moving on to something more complex, like this sci-fi robot. To simplify its shape, I see some very basic shapes. Just don't be overwhelmed by the amount of detail. Put the simple shapes first, then add always more details, little by little. And once you understand the basic structure, you can easily redraw it in different positions or even customize it according to your own sci-fi vision. Of course, recognizing shapes is not enough. To make your drawings look better, we will have to know how to redraw them by applying perspective. 
This will be the theme of a future video because this subject is also part of the fundamentals of drawing. Everything we saw before is useful to draw anything. But when dealing with something big like a building, it's crucial not to fall into the trap of drawing a large rectangle and then adding all the windows and details inside. The problem is that if we make a mistake at the beginning with our starting shapes, there is the risk of not being able to fill in all the details of the building correctly inside. Instead, it's better to choose a starting point, like the entrance door, and then carefully observe the spaces between each element. Once everything is broken down and well-placed, you can add the details. This approach ensures that your proportions remain accurate and your drawing looks realistic. There you have it, by breaking down these images into simple shapes, you can better understand the structure of each subject and how to draw them accurately. I hope this demonstration showed you how useful this technique can be, even for beginners like me. Remember to practice regularly and don't hesitate to experiment with different subjects and styles. Thanks for joining me today and see you in the next video.